Hello viewers, in today's video I'm going to briefly go over how to remove the starter on a Kia or Hyundai 2.4 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve engine. Uh, the starter would be located down in this area here. I've taken it out. There is a 14 millimeter bolt that holds it up here and there'll be another 14 millimeter bolt that holds it down here. Now in order to get to that point there's an engine cover that requires removal. There are four 10 millimeter bolts on the top. Once you take those out you should be able to snap that cover right off and down on the side of the engine there's actually a heat shield that rests on top of the exhaust manifold. That requires three 10 millimeter bolts to be removed and once you've done that you can actually you actually get a 14 millimeter socket on these two bolts sometimes you might have to use a little bit of a swivel or you could use a, uh, a box wrench that has a ratcheting end that probably make your job a lot easier but once you do that there's also there's a shield on the starter itself this guy right here. Now once this is down in here, I'm not going to put the starter in here right now but I'm just going to show you the orientation of where the shield usually sits. It usually sits down in here so before you can actually get the starter out after taking those two 14 millimeter bolts off you'll have to remove a 10 millimeter bolt here, one towards the bottom down here where my pinky is and then at the back of the shield there will be a see the hole down in there that will actually be visible down through this you know, little passageway between the exhaust manifold here there's a 10 millimeter nut on a stud on the back end of the starter that has to be removed so that you can remove this shield otherwise the shield is just going to keep hitting the exhaust manifold you won't be able to get it out. So what you want to do is take the starter loose, let it rest down, you know, right there, maybe on the top of the catalytic converter, and loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts, the 10 millimeter nut at the back of it, slide the shield towards the front of the engine, and that will allow you to get the starter out. And once you have the starter up, There's going to be a nut that you have to remove. There's a plug. Let me see if I can hold this. Actually, I'll just rest it there. There's a little black plug that's going to plug onto this terminal here. And then your positive cable will go here. I want you, I believe this is a 13 millimeter. It's a 13 millimeter nut that you have to take off to get the battery cable off. Once you do that, you can take the starter out. And um, now there is there's a factory wire loom that actually goes over these. I had to cut it off and cut that. There's a lot of electrical tape on it. You'll see what remains of it here. I had to cut it. It's one piece, so you'll have to take a razor and slice it down the side. Um, once you do that, you'll be able to separate the wires. You want to really take that loom off. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more thing. There'll be a metal loop. Let me see if I can... Oh, boy. Yeah. This metal loop here clips over that wire loom, and it bolts right down here where my finger's pointing. There's a little, there's a little flat portion that it bolts to to hold that loom in place. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's uh, it's early evening. But anyway, once you have that loop off and you cut the loom, you can inspect the wires. There's this red wire. This is uh, this is what actually sends the uh, current through when you want to start the car. 
this is what actuates your solenoid so you want to inspect that to make sure it's not melted it seems to be okay so I'm not worried about that one your negative cable is going to be come on guy where did you go here it is your negative cable this is actually going to be attached to that top bolt that you're going to be taking out up here so once you take that bolt out the negative cable will be able to slide out the negative cable seems okay there's no melted portions on it or anything I'm sorry let me zoom in on that it's not melted or in any way deformed no uh, signs of heat damage so that one's fine this one here the white cable This is this is like a main power supply. There's a uh, there's a super fuse inside this little housing, and this goes on to the battery terminal right there. Um, you want to inspect that to make sure there's no heat damage to that one. That one seems to be pretty well. But here's the here's the problem right here. Now there was a very bad burning smell in the car. It had, it had gone all, it had permeated the interior. Um, this cable will have to be replaced. So, just a quick overview. In order to get the uh, starter out, you want to take off the engine cover. You want to take off the heat shield for the exhaust manifold. Once you have those off, you'll be able to get your hands down in here. There will be two 14 millimeter bolts holding the starter once you loosen those bolts the starter will be able to slide underneath the exhaust manifold a little bit once you have it slid back with about two inches or so so that the um, the cone can come out of the uh, the housing there for the transmission you want to take off the two 10 millimeter bolts that will be holding the shield on and then there'll be another 10 millimeter nut at the rear of the starter you take that shield and slide it farther underneath the exhaust manifold you'll be able to rest it there for a moment while you pull the starter forward and out and once you have it out you'll be able to take the battery cable off the solenoid You'll be able to take the wire for the solenoid actuator off. And uh, once you've gotten to that point, just inspect all the wires to make sure that the wires are okay. If there is one that's damaged, be sure to replace it because you don't really want to leave it on there. You might have a car fire. It may short out. It may damage the computer. Many things could occur if you don't change that. So that's our video for the day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.